Hello and welcome back to part 74 of our Fallout 76 beginners walkthrough. I uh, want to give a quick shout out to three of our newest subscribers. I have ICP CC5, got Zeth Linder, and I've got HYP3R4CT1V3 space 313. So not know if that's supposed to spell something out and I'm missing it but I do appreciate all the subscriptions thanks a lot uh, it's really helping the channel grow I've only been around for doing this for like 10 months now and we're closing in on 50,000 views I really appreciate it um, all the views likes subscriptions and comments are really helping um, I'm truly humbled by what's uh, what I I would say what I've been able to provide and what y'all seem to be enjoying over the last 10 months. I do take time to try to research and learn. I try to make this a walkthrough instead of a let's play and see what happens. Uh, on that vein, at the tail end of our last episode, I was going over the fact that once you hit level 50, that's the time to start crafting uh, legendary weapons and armor. I kind of went through that process. I also want to take a few minutes to talk about legendary perks and what happens uh, when you hit level 50 and life beyond level 50 because this is really when you start to craft your character so let's go ahead and look at that as you can see I've leveled up twice so I'm actually level 52 but I've been saving this so I could kinda go over this with you now here are my current perk points in each of the special stats. Uh, after level 50 you cease to be able to put points into your perks and 15 is the most you can put into any one perk. But that's where the specials come in. You will still get to pick a card, a perk card at every single level. You just won't be able to add any more perk points. Uh, also at level 50 all perk cards become available and one of the I'm going to go ahead and load up a couple one of the best when it comes to crafting is called super duper so here we go I'm going to Let's go ahead and get to the luck cards. It's at this point that the uh, luck cards really become your friend. So let's go on to the end here, past all of Bloody Mess is, is a really good luck card to have. This is where you get, yeah, can start if you're going to play with uh, mutations. This is where you can start getting all your mutation cards. Here we go, super duper. I'm going to go ahead and take this card. And I'm going to take it twice so I can double it up. And that's another one of those that you'll just have to remember to switch out, use when you're crafting instead of when you're uh, fighting but now as you see I kind of went up to where it says legendary perks at the top so with level 50 you'll get the option to start adding le legendary perks and you're gonna get a free 50 coins so if you look in the bottom right corner 
were the coin with the P and it says that I have 56 you're gonna get 50 for free and that's so that you can place your first legendary perk so let's look at that right now I have one slot um, when you hit level 75 you'll get another one and so you will eventually four, five you can have five slots for legendary perks and you can actually for the cost of a coin equip and unequip them so what is going to be my first choice some of these are much better than others um, Ammo Factory is good if you're uh, running a heavy gunner type build. Uh, I wouldn't pick it first because there's lots of, of other cards. You know, you have your, uh, super, again, Super Duper uh, stacks well with uh, Ammo Factory. Uh, this Electric Absorption is a really good card. Um, especially since you're going to get a lot of electric damage from robots. So that's another one that's good early on. I'm actually going to pick follow through because I'm using more of a rifle build. Funky Duds is another good one. A lot of the creatures give uh, poison damage and ranking this up will pretty much negate a lot of the poison damage you get from the super hard creatures and cryptids. Okay, the Master Infiltrator. This is this card. It can seem pretty tempting in the beginning, uh, but it's more of a make life easier type thing. Uh, I, I would not pick this card until much much later in the game. Uh, again. Uh, lock picking and hacking isn't that much of a nuisance and I think that you'll find that the uh, perk coins that you put towards this are better spent in other areas again this is maybe your fifth or sixth legendary pick uh, I personally wouldn't pick it at all I would rather spend my precious perk coins and you'll see that these perk coins do become rather present ranking up other uh, cards Um, that one all can also can sound tempting, but I think between your armor and perk cards, uh, and again, it requires a matching set of armor, which uh, is kind of a late game kind of thing. Uh, taking one for the team is a fantastic legendary for playing with others. Uh, what rads is a, is a good perk. And then you have the ability to actually add points to specific uh, special skills. But again, not past 15. So it would be pointless for me to get the Perception Legendary because I already have 15 in Perception and can't rank it up anymore. So really these cards are good for something where maybe you have already have a... a, a uh, 10 or more perk points because again these get progressively more expensive to rank up and you'll find that, that especially at the beginning these perk coins can be pretty um, scarce I'm so anyways that's so each of your specials you can add these as legendaries and add points to each of these special skills But right now, since I have most of my perk cards that available anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pick this uh, follow through.
Let's see. And one more, I think I am going to Again, this is not a good one for a bloody build because a lot of people like to load up with the rads um, and I don't necessarily have a problem with rads so I'm gonna go ahead and take the electrical absorption And then I still have these 50 coins. So that being said, get out real quick, go back in. I'm going to rank up follow through. Now, how do you get more coins, you may ask? <coughs> I would very carefully go through and scrap cards that you know you will never ever 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 need to use and these are pretty rare but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna need the fire in the hole so I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that And as you can see, each card is worth two perk points. Um, really don't need any of these cards So let's see where we're at on our stats. It says we can eat and drink a little bit. Uh, we're still 40 minutes of well rested, six minutes of well tuned, so we'll want to tune up. As you can see, I did uh, off camera complete the Mothman, so I've got 11 more minutes of that bonus. Uh, got gourd soup and razor grain soup going let's go ahead and tune up while we're in here as you can see I haven't spent a whole lot of time decorating yet um, have collected some bobbleheads some magazines and a soda rack for all my nuka quantums So let's tune up. Okay. 
Should be any second now. And we'll eat our cranberry relish and some brain fungus soup. Some brain fungus soup. Some cranberry relish. And let's see. Let's get back to the overseer. We're overseer overseen. So, as we last met with the overseer and helped concoct the vaccine and distribute it to both Crater and to Foundation. The next thing she has us doing is revisiting Vault Tech University with her. So that's going to be our next stop. Up here in Morgantown. And we'll be searching for the secret she's heard about uh, the other vault. And we'll get some info on what everybody is talking about. The big treasure uh, it was alluded to when we first exited the vault and spoke to Lacey. Uh, Because, of course, our, our work for the Overseer is never done. <laughs> Seems like she always have a step and fetch it task for us. So we'll be meeting her here at Vault Tech. Or the, one of the wings of Vault Tech. There's lots of interesting lore to explore here. Don't know how much time I'll really have to, to get into that. I would urge you, to, as you play, to take the time. side entrance of this wing. Nothing in the... I'm going to go ahead and pick these flowers. It's one of the daily tasks. And in we go with another cutscene. Uh, there will be various uh, robots patrolling the building. So we'll probably have to dispatch a few of those. I don't know that I'll take the time to completely clear the building. As there's only a few spots we'll actually be going to. But we'll see who we run into. Get our shotgun ready. Maybe even pop a Nuka Cola. Got Nuka Cherry. Well, then we'll drink a Nuka Cherry. can kind of hear them rummaging around. Clear. Proceeding with search protocol. 
come in, there's a little lounge area. Here's a... You are from the Identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens. Shooting at us from upstairs. Don't need any steel scrap. Matter of fact, we could probably secure. drop some scrap we might have. Another headless statue. Little lounge area. Alright, let's see if we can sneak our way upstairs. Kind of lost the element of surprise there. Oh. See if we can go back to hidden. Oh, where'd he go? All right, we'll see him again soon. Sure. I guess I'll take that lead. Not that I necessarily need it. Pencil, take that. Here we have some offices. Here's the office of the dean. Of the and you can you hear the overseer. Here's a computer lab. Nice to be sneaky. So for a little lore, I would encourage you to... Here's a terminal. You can read uh, Liam Hornwright's workstation. Where he's working on his abstract. That he's going to use down in the vault. And you can see the Dean Harlan is <laughs> not too impressed. <laughs> and you have Drew Collingsworth's terminal. His abstract is talking about experimental foods. And then here's what it's made up of. Looks like good stuff. And the advisor response is that he's be given some vault time to experiment by the dean. Necessarily need any. There's a plan for a broken toilet. Speaking of which, again, it's very easy to pick up these plans and not know that you have them. So let's go to notes and see if there's any plans or recipes in here. There's the plan for the broken toilet. Uh, Mothman Stein, Mothman Throne, and that's it for plans and recipes. And we have the Dean's office right across the hall, where we see, I'm going to go ahead and close this door, our old buddy the Overseer. Glad you're here. Maybe the two of us together can talk some sense into this machine. 
All right. The overseer mentioned there would be more people coming. <laughs> That's just me. Assuming there even is a restricted section, and I am not verifying that neither of you have Bolton University credentials. Yeah, how can that be? We have the overseer. Faculty and staff determine who goes where in this university, not former students. I might be the only human being connected to this place that's still alive. My authority doesn't override yours? No, it does not. And for the record, I was the dissenting opinion on fast tracking your overseer assignment. You are not pushing your way through me. There is one thing I need. A new graduating class. Unfortunately, your overseer has already passed the final exam, but you, you could take it. You mean the vault simulation? That's ridiculous. All the professors are gone. The vaults have already been assigned. My programming dictates that this university's purpose is to produce graduates, and I intend to follow the rules. Unlike some people, the simulation will be run by the Mr. Handy janitorial staff. It is an experimental protocol, but you will find they are more than up to the task. Fine. When we agree in this test scenario, your fault has divided into factions. You must resolve the conflict any way you see fit. Your chief of security will fill you in on the details. Good luck. All right. I'm not familiar with this test scenario. Professor Bott must have come up with it on his own. Well, here while we're here, let's grab some brain fungus. Always good for soup. Let's see anything else here in the office we need to grab or loot? looking for all right and back down we go there is more to explore that way but we've only got so much time oh sorry it's kind of a dead end as you can see forgot about that Come on, Overseer, we're heading this way after all. So we've got to jump down right there. Beginning search. Oh, come on. Come on out. Area secure. Do not. Identify yourself. Law abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Anybody in here? We can see here's another terminal. The Dean's terminal. Uh, let's see. I see a lot out of words where A is the second letter, so let's go with that. Let's see. About it. What if? Well, it can't be that one. 
because we would have two. So let's try. Pass has two. So what about wars? And we could read his thoughts on the various students. Remember Liam and his... That must have been the... Not too impressed with him. Here's Drew and his... And as you see, they're going to tamper with his suggestion by, and by adding arterial placking agent that could cause rapid circulatory system decline. Expect full-blown revolt within two weeks. Should be able to end the experiment in week three. So they're kind of sabotaging. His experiment. We have Shelby O'Rourke. As you can see, she's interested in cryptids. And then there's the safe control. Ah, darn it. Have to stock up on bobby pins again. Well, that was a tough one. But, well rewarded. Boiled water, always a plus. See somebody. Turn down by potential boss once again. If you told me when I first got here that I would be anything other than the overseer of a control vault, I wouldn't have believed you. Now that I'm here, I'm a little more realistic about things. The overseer at Vault 96. One of the hottest postings outside of 76 wouldn't even give me the time of day. The man sent me a form letter as a rejection, for God's sakes. <laughs> At this rate, I'm gonna end up shipped out to the West Coast to work as a janitor in 29 with a bunch of obnoxious rich teenagers or something. <sighs> so we see that Miss Miller is not that too happy. Is a hive of nepotism and asking. <laughs> you can't get ahead unless you attend every lecture and write every paper. There's no respect for passion. But this, but we get to go find her shack. As you can see, this is giving us a mil, uh, miscellaneous quick. understand what fault tech means. Meanwhile, I have to take my third run at senior thesis. Should be entertaining to get rejected by Dean Elliott yet again. Anyways, cash is tight, so... I'm gonna take part in hopefully my last thesis project in the sim vault. This kid seems fine, and his experiment is about food, so I get to eat well, at least. <laughs> oh, if you only knew, Trisha, if you only knew. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, here's Michael Blake's terminal. There's a syllabus. Oh, back to the usual day tedium. Talking about some petroglyphs there. 
Talking about Jacqueline. There's one last the guide stone translation. As you can see more about the petroglyphs. And she feels they're extraterrestrial. Let's go ahead and turn off that miscellaneous that guy rolling around down there. Right there. Oh, should have reloaded. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Momentary help from the overseer. So we see there's back nothing there back down the hallway have some fungus we can pick. All right, and here's where we, oh, one more terminal. Almost forgot about that. So we have Vault 51. And you can see there are several other vaults that the information has been redacted. And then here's our own Vault 76. Which is, it's called a control vault, but actually designed to for less nefarious reasons. <laughs> All right, so let's go on down here. Another lounge with an exit. I hear some more. Oh, there you are. Anyways, this is good lore. I'll let you read later on your own. Scrap. And then we go here to the test vault. There is a to the training ball. Here we go. To talk to the security chief or the janitor proposing to be the security chief. So we can see as we walk in, greeted by various vault tech students here with an extinguisher probably trying to beat the door open. There's others with folding chairs probably attempting to escape again, if not biting each other. 
So let's talk to the security chief. You're the Robinson. new overseer. Heck of a boiling pot you're stepping into. Little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. There was a reactor leak. Kellerman, head engineer's apprentice, rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. Okay, that's terrible. That's not the worst of it. Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. Head engineer Brass accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, people noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, <coughs> was missing. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. Murder is afoot. Well, was the body no. ever found? There's no evidence, no weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss over this here. Need you to make sense of all this. No, we Sorry, will. I couldn't be of more help. It's okay. Did pretty good play acting for being a member of the janitorial staff. I'll be here if you need me, Overseer. All right. You see there's a terminal here. And if you want, we can read what became of the uh, simulation with the food. I'll just cut down to the last... gonna barricade himself in his bedroom so as we can see as predicted his test went awry thanks to their meddling I'll let you guys read that on your own terms so we can just open this we don't need to use that here was his bedroom where he was Hiding, yet we see no body, so perhaps they drug him out. So let's go ahead and we've got the head of engineering feuding with the head of the medical staff. So here's the head of the medical staff, Dr. Loris. Let's ah, get overseer. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. Okay. I'm afraid I can't really comply with that request, Overseer. The reactor is under quarantine. The radiation could kill you. You can pass a charisma check or an intelligence check. I'm going to go ahead and see... Very well. As long as you take all the necessary precautions. Here. So, I would encourage you to read all of the lore. I'm going to skip for now, in the interest of time. Remember if there's any good loot in here, if necessary. There is a safe. Excuse me, medical staff. There we 
go. Now, rather than go and speak to the head of engineering, as they're wanting me to do, I'm going to go ahead and search the reactor area. So, as you can see, I'm following the search the reactor. There is a tadiation that we'll pick up here. Nothing we can't easily get rid of. But here we find Estella's holotape. This is Estella, Dr. Loris's assistant. I snuck into the reactor to help Kellerman, but there's not enough power. The reactor is going to go critical. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it. But the radiation is going to get us. At least the vault will be safe. So as we can see, the missing member of the medical staff actually did sneak into the reactor. Hello there. Oh. We got to go back to Robinson. Sorry. Let's see, we want to go back this way. I mean, you could talk to both chiefs and get both their perspectives, but this is the quick way. Did you have a question, Overseer? You found her? Poor lass. I'm guessing she didn't make it. Let's take a listen then. So she wasn't murdered. She was trying to save Kellerman. Two of them ended up saving us all. This is big news, Overseer. We take this to Brass and Loris, it could end the infighting for good. Yes, gather them up. At once, Overseer! Everyone, gather in the common area! We Let's have an important announcement from the Overseer. Follow the Chief here down to the common area. Again, I'm kind of giving you guys the shortcut version of how to resolve this. What's this about, Robinson? I have charts to update. Maybe the Overseers finally decided to throw your murderous backside in jail. That's enough! The Overseer has discovered what happened to Estella. This holotape proves she went into the quarantined reactor area on her own. She and Kellerman saved the vault. They work together? Medical and engineering? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. Bickering like two old men while the young ran off to solve our problems. It should have been us. I... actually agree with you there. So that's it, then? No more arguing? You'll both work under the Overseer's authority? Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Good job. That's a solution any Overseer should be proud for getting to. Everyone learns we have to work together. 
All right, that's great. So let's go deliver this news to Professor Bot. Um, if we were in need of some lead. Oh, it's not going to let us pick up these weights anyways. There's much more to loot. I'll let you guys leave you guys to do that. We've got some time constraints. Time to get back upstairs to Professor Bot. Oh, thanks, Overseer. Well, where is he? There he is. Well, it appears you passed the test. Barely exceeding my low expectations of you. Yes, I suppose we had a deal. You are officially a graduate of Voltic University, entitled to access to all areas. Back down in the vault, simulation space is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe We'll have what you are looking for. It was almost good to see you again, Professor Bot. Yes, Overseer, I suppose it was. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program. You must be proud. Actually, I am. Afraid I don't have my old cap and gown to share with you. Well, perhaps we could all find in the restricted wing will be even better. Yes, perhaps we could all pose for a selfie. What do you think, Overseer? Stay where you're at. How about this as a selfie? If you're ever wondering. Oh, I can't seem to get the overseer in the picture. She's not going to show up. Well, that's a drag. Um, let's go ahead and do our thumbs up pose as normal. And how about that? Ah. Oh. Now she shows back up. We're burning daylight here. Uh, the photo gallery. Let's see, I've got to get rid of one. That one's not all that great. Let's delete that one. Oh, now she's in the picture. Good deal. How about that? All right, now back down to the simulation. Run, run, run this way.
check these. Don't need a ladle. Would have been nice to have been able to ID the poor kid that got shafted by the staff. So here's our... We can now go down this restricted wing. This is it. Somewhere past this maintenance area is the restricted wing. Let's see. Still got a cranberry relish going. How about let's re up on the brain fungus soup? We have a little corn soup. Here's some brain fungus soup. Shop never hurt anybody. How about a little All right, here's a Mr. Gutsy for us to deal with. Just a tad bit of help from the overseer, and we get this guy. You run, you now let's just run up there and get him with your silly pipe pistol, overseer. is important loot. I know it says our target is down, but here we have a little TV viewing area. Looks like there's a little studio set up there. sound of more robots being released. Another gutsy. of us 